Hey everybody, this is Patrick Zielbauer from Infinity Futures. Thanks for taking a look at the YouTube channel here. I wanted to give you a quick run through of how to properly set up and use something that exists within Sierra called the Trade Activity Log. So the Trade Activity Log is basically an input in Sierra that records trades live or simulated done either on the chart trader itself or the Infinity AT dump. So it's useful for people who want to go back and track activity a look at trade related statistics from their own trading and so forth. So here's how you do this. Now, the first thing you need to make sure you do to make sure this works properly is go under the trade menu and make sure that trade simulation mode on is unchecked. Notice there's no check mark next to this. All right, so this is really important because think of trade simulation mode as like back test or replay mode in Sierra. If you check this, it puts a wall between the charting and the execution. So if you do live or simulated trades on the dome, Sierra is not receiving those trades because this is on. Similarly, if you're using trade simulation mode and you're using the chart trader in Sierra, you'll see that those orders won't show up on your dome because you're not going anywhere. So trade simulation mode on needs to be unchecked. The way as a customer that you should be deciding if you're using the platform in live and simulator is how you log into the software, not something you toggle once you're inside. So if you want to log into live mode, go into live mode. If you want to go into simulated live mode and practice, then log into simulated live mode. That's how you make the differentiation. Okay. All right. So now that that is unchecked here, you're going to go to trade activity log right at the bottom. That's going to bring up a menu with some tab or a window with some tabs. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're clicked on the trade activity tab, which is the far left one here. And you want to make sure that these menu items at the top, these drop downs, are set properly. The first thing you want to do is under the fills menu up here, make sure that this says fills rather than orders. Okay. Cause we want to see actual trades here, not just working orders like stops or limits or canceled orders. So fills, this should say all internal order IDs to the right. I have mine set to say all symbols. You can filter it by symbol. If you want to see how you do in one market versus the other, no problem, but I have mine set to all. And then here's going to be where your account number goes. So, if you're a demo account holder, you're going to see a dummy account number like mine here. If you're a live account holder, you can either choose your live account or if you want to look at your simulated live data, make sure you have SIM with your live account number next to it. All right. So either it's going to be your live account number on its own. If you're looking at live data, if you want to look at simulated live data, it's your live account number with the word SIM in front of it. If you're a demo user, it looks like this with a dummy account number. Okay. So once you have those selected, you can check a date range. I have mine set to March 22nd because I've been following a system sort of uh, hypothetical. These are all hypothetical trades, okay? But I've been tracking them since March 22nd. So that's why I have set mine set to March 22nd. And then you can select the time. And then once you select that, all this stuff, you push apply, and you're going to see this data populate. All right, now, one note about this is that if you want the trade activity log to work properly, you need to be, you need to log into the charting program at least once a day before the end of the session when our, when our, the infinity AT dome clears off. So if you don't log into the charts at all in a day, the next day, there's no data to download. So make sure you at least log into this once a day. There's probably, that's probably not going to be an issue for most people because most of you are using our charts. And if you're using the trade activity log, you probably have the charts up. So, not a huge deal. It doesn't mean you actually have to bring the trade activity log up. You just need to make sure you have the charts run at some point throughout the day. So that data is going to download and you're going to see some tabs here at the top. So trade activity is really just a chronological log of events. This is not a terribly useful field. In my opinion, the two that are most useful are the trade statistics and the trades tab. So the trade statistics tab is where you're going to see data about how many long positions you took, how many short positions, percentage wins, losses, your run up, your drawdowns, you know, percentage profitable, that sort of thing. You know, to some people, some of this data might be useful. There's a little bit, in my opinion, a few too many categories in here to look at and really make sense of, but certainly something that some people might find interesting about their trading, like if they have a predisposition to be long or short, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, the trades tab here actually has, uh, to me, the, the most relevant data. So I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top. And I changed computers about halfway through this. So there's a couple of issues with some of the fills in here. But um, if you look at this, you'll see that on the 23rd, this is the first one I was tracking. 
And what you basically see is a profit loss on the trade, an average entry and exit price, quantities and so on, and then a running P&L. So the P&L here, as you can see, goes up, 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 then it goes down a little bit because there's some losers, and then it goes up, 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 and then it goes down a little bit because there's some losers here, see that? So then you get like a running list of all the trade activity. All right, now, if you scroll over to the right, or if you have a, a bigger screen, uh, you'll see that there's more information. The ones that I think are most useful are the run-up and the drawdown. So the run-up is like the highest amount of money you were up in this trade uh, before you closed it, and the, and the, the most you were down at the t at, in this trade before you closed it. Um, so, you know, that, that to me is, you know, somewhat useful. I mean, obviously, if you're taking trades where you're risking, you know, like $1,100 to make $100, you, you already know that you have an issue with risk reward. So I'm not sure how useful that data will be, but it is tracked here and you can see that info here. Um, the, only, the only other tab I ever really look at is the trade stats for charts because what's happening here is that the, the charting is tracking the P&L for each of these charts individually. So the five minute is chart number one here, the E-mini S&P, you can see there, you can see the closed P&L for the trades. Uh, the Dow is this one, chart number five, that's this one right here, or excuse me, chart number four, the five minute Dow chart, and then the NASDAQ chart, chart number five right here. So, excuse me, let me bring this back up. So, you know, you may, you may want to look here, it kind of separates it by chart. So if you find that useful, you know, great. But again, the most useful information I think is going to be under either the trade statistics tab, but really even more so the trades tab. So you're going to see all your data about your trade activity in here. And this will work in real time as long as you've got your uh, date range set to today. So as you put trades on, this will populate as it's happening. All right, this data can be exported into Excel or something if you really want to. If you go to the edit menu, there's a copy all selection, copy selection, um, and then you can just paste it into Excel. You can also save the log. I believe it downloads as a text file, so that's one way to do it as well, but you really can, these, these, this does copy nicely into Excel if you want to keep your own record. One thing I will mention is that this is not a daily statement. It's not an official record of your activity. You still need to look at your daily statements. Technical issues could arise. There could be some reason why something's not showing up in here. Obviously, anything is possible, electronic trading, but uh, make sure you do check your, your statements every night, especially if you trade that day, uh, just in the event that you miss something. Okay, so again, this is not an official record, but it is a useful tool. Uh, I use it myself, a lot of our customers do. Um, it's not, you know, the, the most intuitive in terms of the way it's set up by default, but once you set it up once, like I have up here with these drop downs, you really don't have to change anything, you know, ever again. Okay. I uh, hope it helps out. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for your time.